So my goal today is to make you as attractive as possible by developing a step-by-step -step grooming routine that you can start following today, which I'll guarantee will start making you look good because every single step is scientifically backed to be the most effective. Now to simplify the process, I broke it down into three categories of skin, body odor, and hair. Let's start with skin. The first thing you need to do is have a cleanser that uses salicylic acid. This is an acid that exfoliates and cleans deeper and better than any other cleanser because it almost breaks down the glue that holds cells together, allowing you for that deep penetration. Now, if you want to take this a step further, I always suggest to use a silicone scrubber versus your fingertips. These scrubbers bristles do a much better job of penetrating the pores and removing any dirt or oil that can clog them, which will lead to a breakout. Number two, use an active ingredient. My preferred one is vitamin C. This is an antioxidant that has been proven by multiple studies to improve skin texture and skin appearance after just three months of daily use. One trick here is that when you start applying facial creams, a rule you always have to follow is that you have to apply them in levels of thickness, meaning you apply the creams that are lighter first and the heavier creams last. So you start with your facial cleanser, then your vitamin C, then your moisturizer, and then your sunscreen. Which takes me to number three, use a good moisturizer. Now, a good way to know if a moisturizer is great, it'll have two key ingredients. One is occlusive ingredients. These are your mineral oils or your petroleum. The second one are humectant ingredients like your glycerin. Both of these ingredients will work together to do two things. One, to avoid any humidity or hydration to leave your skin while also absorbing hydration from the environment around you to keep your skin hydrated all day. And finally, for this category, number four is use a good sunscreen. A great sunscreen will reduce the chances of cancer and melanoma by up to 50% while also reducing any fine lines or wrinkles from forming. And now a trick you must always follow is that every time you apply a facial cream, you have to apply against gravity. Your skin is fighting against gravity all day long, which is why as you age, you get that sagging look. You want to fight against this by every morning when you apply a cream, you stimulate blood flow and your skin so it looks firmer by applying against gravity. All right, that was category number one. Let's move to the second category, which is body odor. This takes me to number five. You have to shower every morning. As you sleep, your, your body is producing sweat dead skin cells and oils and that's getting trapped up on your bed sheets that you're rolling around all day that's why you get that like musty smell because your skin is so dirty you have to wash it all off now a good trick that you always must follow is that the body wash you use is key you have to use a body wash that doesn't sud or foam up as much. The more foam it has, it usually means it has very powerful detergents that will over dry your skin. Instead, you want something that has low foam or low suds so you can shower every day and keep your skin healthy. This takes me to number six. You must always wear a fragrance. This has been documented by multiple studies. Your confidence will improve by up to 90% when you wear a fragrance versus participants that didn't wear a fragrance. Now, the key here is that you must wear a fragrance and do it correctly by following these three almost unbreakable rules starting with the first one you have to apply it correctly when you apply a fragrance you want to choose pulse points pulse points are where the veins of your body run close to the skin as your body moves or your blood starts flowing these areas tend to warm up more which expands the fragrance i usually do a total of three to four sprays key areas that i like are the inside of your elbows and then one spray on each side of your neck now the specific fragrance i'm spraying right now is delicious it's called thirst trap I received it from our sponsor Scentbird this month. They send me a new fragrance every month and each bottle has about 180 sprays. So if you do the math, three to four sprays a day, it could last you up to two months per vial. Now the next rule is that you must choose the right notes. Don't just randomly pick fragrances. You have to understand that scientifically, notes have a huge impact on your emotion and mood. So for example, you can choose a vanilla note if it's a chill day and you wanna relax and be calm. You can choose a peppermint or minty note if you wanna boost brain activity at work. And according to this study, you can use clementine or a citrus note if you wanna elicit arousal if you're going on a date. So a good example of this, if I'm going on a date, I would use this one. This is the Tumi Unwind. It has top notes that are citrusy, which are perfect for eliciting that arousal. This is a new fragrance in my collection I just added, which I 
I also received from Semford. And this is the great part about this service. For around 16 bucks a month, you're getting a new fragrance delivered to your door every single month, allowing you to build a collection that's versatile that you can use in multiple situations. But this takes me to the third and most important rule. You have to store your fragrances correctly. Any direct sunlight or humidity from your bathroom can destroy your fragrance composition and lower its shelf life. And this is exactly why I love Semper. If you order today, they'll give you a free travel case that covers your fragrance and keeps direct light away from it and also allowing you to travel with it because the vial is protected. And right now they have a limited time offer. So your first month's trial is 55% off. If you guys want to check it out, it'll be linked down below. Now we move to the third and final category, which is hair. This takes us to step number seven. You have to shampoo correctly. Remember, shampoo is designed to clean and cleanse the hair by removing product and grease buildup. To do it correctly, you have to start with the correct product. Look at the ingredient list in the back and every time you buy a shampoo, make sure it doesn't have any sulfates, parabens, formaldehyde, hexachlorophene, and phthalates. Once you have the right shampoo, you want to start with about a quarter size amount. You don't want to use too much because it's going to overly strip your hair. You then want to massage the shampoo in for about five minutes. This is almost going to be like a cleanse slash scalp massage. So really use your fingertips as you do it. Research has shown that this promotes blood flow to the scalp, which will make your hair follicles healthy and promote healthy hair growth. Now you can wash it off and now you've prepped your hair and scalp so it can receive any sort of hydration, which takes us to the next step. You want to use a conditioner. The conditioner you use, you want to make sure it has some sort of emollients. These are types of fats, oils, and butters that lubricate the hair and give you that soft, almost luscious type of shiny hair that you're looking for. You're going to follow the same technique as your shampoo. You're going to use a quarter size amount and then you're going to re-massage your scalp for another five minutes. This is strategic. Again, you're promoting that blood flow and that circulation with the scalp massage. This specific study found that out of 300 participants, when they would massage their scalp for about 10 minutes every single day, they noticed significant hair regrowth. So you will do five minutes as your shampoo, five minutes as you condition, and not only will you have clean and healthy hair, you're gonna have thicker and fuller hair. 